You're all probably thinking, how are you coping with this? And I'll be perfectly honest, it's been a long time coming. But I knew it would one day. Now, I've been towing a bit of a potential lifeline. Um, I had an email today of one of the world's like leading people in this and I'm gonna I'm gonna risk my life in the next coming weeks to potentially save my life. Now, the reason I was told to enjoy the next two weeks is because they think I'll rapidly decline. My mum's quit her job so she can look after me. It's not easy to show how sick I really am on these uh, vlogs because I'm always upbeat and I'm always silly. Um, but hopefully with my mum around as well, we'll be able to show you another side of everything. We've made preparations today to go on holiday on Friday as a family, which everyone in my family is going to come and we're going to go on holiday. But as for me, I'm still going to fight. And there's still a huge amount of cancer in me. And it won't be long before I succumb to it. And that's not through a lack of trying. I've tried everything I physically can. Spoken to as many people as I can in the world, world leaders in this field. But you can't always win. But I don't want anyone's pity. I don't want anyone to worry about me. I can deal with this. I can cope with this. It's the others around me and my family and other people who will find it harder than I am. And that's real life. That's real life right there. So it's day one, day one after I've been told that everything's inoperable and there's nothing they can do. Can we accept this information? No. So let's go fight. I'm in the car with my mother, um, she's there, there you are mum aren't you? I am here. How are you feeling today mum? Um, a bit uh, phased out with things but not going to let it get to me. Um, going to focus on positives, look at what we can do, and uh, go from there, really. That's it. Fair enough. She also has quit her job so she can spend more time with me, which yes, is nice. I did. I resigned today. She resigned today from her job to spend time with me uh, so we can go on holiday and we can enjoy the next couple of weeks and stuff. And I want to make it clear, don't pity me. Don't pity me. There's, there's no reason to pity me. I'm going to fight everything that I can. I'm going to fight as much as I can. At the end of this video, or somewhere in this video, I'll draw out a picture of what's happened um, and why they can't treat it anymore. And we're looking at options with like chemo, but I have to weigh those options up of whether I want to go through it all. Yeah. And it's very serious. And they think I'll deteriorate very quickly over the next couple of weeks. Um, and it, it's potentially now spread upwards and stuff, they can, well I can feel it and everyone else can feel it all in the back of my neck and stuff. Um, it's just it's sad, it's a pain in the ass, but you've got to fight or it. pain in the neck. Pain in the oh, neck. Oh. oh, we're still making jokes even <laughs> though it's shit. Love it. Right, <laughs> let's go do some stuff for the day. I found my dad, there you go, there's dad, say hello. Hello. How do you feel, Dad? 
Thrilled. Thrilled. No. No. I don't know really. It's it's so much to process, Dan. Just gutted, I think, really. It's the yeah. truth. Fair enough. You You've know. got to go to hospital yourself now, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. They're gonna check where I've got a brain between there and there, I think, <laughs> and, and see whether these are connected to those. Nice, it's great like fun. That. Yeah. Cool. So and you're there, aren't you, Mum? No, I'm not at the hospital, no. No, I'm saying oh, you're there yeah, on the camera. Yeah, I'm there in body, <laughs> if not in uh, mind, you know. Yeah. I think I've completely lost it now. Well, well, but, fair um, enough. But there you go. The weather has decided to go horrific and really nasty. Look. It's not playing ball. It's not playing ball at all. Also, where I film everything in the park, they're chopping down the trees. Here, we see the Linda Thomas trying to make preparations yes. for things. And my dad stunk the toilet out. Disgusting. How is it possible to do that smelly something ever? Your, your, your face is like, I'm disgusted. I am disgusted. I am, I am a, I'm not, I'm, I'm just disappointed, Dad. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Here we see a Linda Thomas pressing three to get more information while she's trying to organize things so as we can go away at the weekend. That's, that's what she's doing. Lovely. If you can't have fun with what you've got, what's the point in living? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Look, he's just turned up with his fake Ray-Bans. Fay-Bans. Fay-Bans. Not fake bands, they're ray fay bands They're fay bands You're a loser, man. Yep. Look at my stupid tan line. Oh, look at that tan line. That's ridiculous. Is it making you feel on yes, edge? Yes, it's You're making me feel on on uncomfortable. It's making you feel uncomfortable. Stop following Here me. Here we have a Benjamin Thomas getting uncomfortable on camera. He's a Sir bit of David a weirdo. Sir David Attenborough. Sir David Attenborough. Uh, yeah. Ben, you can look at the camera, you know. I can't, you've got, I don't. You've got glasses on. No one will see where you're looking. Yeah, this is true. Stop yeah. following me around. I'm not following you around. Look at that dog. Ooh. Look at that dog. Lovely. Okay, we're talking about you. So, how did you feel, Ben? Upset. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Um, weirded out that you knew where I was. Yeah, I did know where you were. Which was kind of I keep weird. a track on you. Yeah, I gathered. For safety. Yeah. For safety, Ben. Mm. For safety. Safety reasons. Safety reasons. With safety my fey bands. Reasons with your fey bands. Right, I'm bored of you now. Yeah, See I'm you later. Bye. Well. Bye. Take him out. Bob can take him out immediately. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. just let me know that's fine. I mean, it's like, for the moment, it's just, I mean, You're checking I yourself out, JC. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like, with, with such a weather, you can't do what you your hair. You yeah. Know, it's crappy as all well, of Mine's just poking I mean, out of this cap. Smart, I know, you know. it's a bit, but with the sun, it's all white The sun now, is beautiful it, today. I know. It's, just, it's, it's beautiful crazy. sun. It's just bloody It's cold. Uh, it's cold today, actually. It's, it's bloody cold, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Yeah, she's struggling at a She's woody and oh, come on. Oh. Have, you, have you seen your goggles? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you did to me, you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't so it's the end of the day. Where are we at? Nowhere further with anything. We're trying to figure out a holiday for me and my family. Um, I've got till like Tuesday, Wednesday to be back um, and then hopefully something will happen to try and slow this whole process down but right now we've still got no options but yeah I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully we'll have something fun to do tomorrow because I like to have fun I'm not all about doom and gloom and as I said before, don't pity me, don't feel sorry for me. I knew this would happen. So it's all about how we save lives in the future and how we make things better for people in the future. And hopefully we can all learn from this. And it's important that it's documented. So yeah, have a good day and sleep well. Ta-ta, laters. See you, ta-ta, bye-bye. Thank you, bye.